Well, now that we know the history behind Lance Camper, we'll join Les Fowler, Head of Product Development and Engineering, as he guides us through the construction process. What we have here is one of our uh, cut automatic cutoff saws from the engineering department. We send the files to the production department. They will then send that information to the various cutoff saws, automated cutoff saws. This particular one will tell her how, many, how much material to load into the saw, goes through and then cuts each one of the pieces needed for that particular run. Also produces a label where she can label each one of the pieces, which will then show what departments those pieces have to go to. This is one of our automatic panel saws. Again, anything done in engineering sent to the production office. From there, they'll download that material requirements to this saw. They'll cut the plywoods and the uh, decor panels on this saw, and then again, send them to the departments as required. What you see here in the background is our large CNC machine. This is a CNC machine that we use for the floors, sidewalls, ceilings, our front walls and our rear walls. What it's doing right now is cutting the foam path for our creating the fixture for our aluminum tube. As you can see here, the CNC has done the routing for all the aluminum tube. In this particular instance, this aluminum tube is going to be placed there with the bottom piece in there, and then the CNC puts the welding locations for the welder, so we tell them exactly where we want them to weld the aluminum tube. Right now we are in our lamination area. This area is climate controlled. We have humidifiers and heating to keep this room a certain temperature. We use a PUR adhesive with our roll coat machine which has a bluish dye in it, so as the material comes through, it's going to show the glue bond that is on the uh, substrates that are going on. This is a floor right here. They're running the, the panels through right now. They'll set this up. At that point in time, it'll go through our pinch roller here, in this area here, pinch through, and proceed back down the conveyor system, back to the CNC machine for its second routing which would then be any holes, uh, windows, route outs that have to be done to the finished product. Okay, in this area here, this is our cabinet shop where we have two CNC machines. Uh, we're building our cabinets out of a European plywood, light plywood that comes out of Spain. Uh, it's about 30% lighter than the plywood here in the U.S. Their VOC is twice as it's, it's stringent in Europe as it is here in the U.S. Look closely at those rounded out holes. They are one of the key reasons why Lance Camper sets the standards for quality, fit, and finish as Les shows us. Okay, this is uh, some of our typical cabinet construction where we have two pieces of plywood basically and then a, a uh, plastic corner cap that the plywood slides into which then makes the uh, cabinet. As far as on the back side, you can see the RTA fastener that's been put in to the back side of the panel, which looks like this part right here. And what that allows is the screw to come through the, in the right location and the right angle on the uh, cabinet, this one going up into the overhead. Coming up, we'll see the rest of the operations involved in getting a finished beauty like this. But first, Jeff shows us a unique cordless rotisserie from down under. Don't touch that dial. Mm -hmm. 